I'm taking my second trip today, second trip to Wanit Ridge today in a week. Last week I went there and I drove over the speed limit as much as five miles over the speed limit, which I normally don't do in an EV. And when I got back, I had three miles left on the vehicle. Three miles left. I had about 43 left when I left one at Ridge, and it's about 28 miles, so I should have had 15. But there's about a 30-foot elevation change uphill from there to here. So it used a lot more energy than I thought it would. Plus, I had the thermostat set on either 72 or 74 all the way back, and I normally don't do that. But today is another hot day, so I'm taking my charger just in case. I mean, my uh, plug, the charger is built into the car, of course. Let's see how many miles we can go. It's fully charged, and it says we can go 70 miles. And it's about uh, 56 there and back, 57 there and back, something like that. So anyway, let's see what we can do. The speed limit just changed to 60, and that's what I'm going. Not one bit over. There we go. Up here by a little place called Miss Addie's, it goes down to 55. When that happens, I'm going 55. Even though on the way there, I'm going downhill. But on the way back, I'll be going uphill. So I want to conserve a little bit of energy. speed limit just dropped to 55 not only that but it also dropped to two lanes so I'll have a lot of cars passing me today because I will never go under the speed limit because that just be kind of irritating and mean to the drivers behind me but it don't bother me to go exactly the speed limit they won't like it because the average speed on this road I'm guessing is 65 10 miles over maybe even 70 <laughs> And sometimes it's hard to pass on this road, so I'll probably get a few cussings today. That's all right. They can cuss me, go around when they get a chance. I'm going 55, the speed limit. This little town here is also something that uh, where I'm gonna irritate people. Because the speed limit's 45 for just maybe a mile. And I'm the type, I actually go the speed limit. Even in a gas vehicle, I'd slow down to about 48 here. And boy, that people don't like that. Because these little towns, people usually don't go, slow down. They just zip right through. But I know that um, if there's a cop up here, then I, you know, my luck, this be the one day they be patrolling it. But these little towns like this where the speed limit drops from 55 to 45, for just a mile or so. Generally, uh, people don't don't even tap their brakes. They just zoom right on through. I don't do that. And of course, I have not had a ticket in probably 25 or 30 years. Maybe that's why. I haven't even been stopped by a policeman since probably the early to mid 90s. I'd say mid 90s. I made it to my destination. Oh, I made it to Water Ridge. I'm not quite at my destination yet. I'm less than, ha less than a mile away though. I've driven 27 and a half miles, and according to the guessometer, there's guessometer, there's 42 miles left. So you would think I would make it back easily, right? Yeah, not so fast. Uh, last, last week when I left, I think I had 43 miles left, and I barely got home. Of course, like I said, this week I'll be going slower than last week, and the air won't be quite as low. So I'm going to make it. It's just a matter of how many miles are going to be left. But here in a second, when I get parked, I will um, take a video shot of what my miles per kilowatt hour was on the way here. I did roll my windows down, and I'm going to shut off the engine while I'm here eating today. I'm going to do that, and uh, just to conserve some energy. So let's see. 28 miles. Well, it's going to be 5.2 miles per kilowatt hour. I don't have to shut this off to see what it's going to be because I reset my trip odometer when I left. Okay, 5.1. Probably round it off to 5.2. But anyway, on the way back, I'm going to get probably low fours. All 
I've been debating on whether to go home or go to my aunt's house and charge for a little bit. I decide to go home. I predict I'll make a home with about eight miles left. That's my prediction. I'm going to go the speed limit exactly. And if the mileage isn't looking that great, when I get to the 60 mile zone, I'll just keep it on 55. Most of that is four lane and people could easily pass me. We'll see. I have about uh, 27 miles, about 28 miles to go. 27 to 28 and the guessometer says 40 miles. So you think right now I'd have 12 miles left when I get home. But I'm gonna do this all the way home to just see how the mileage on the guestometer eats away to zero. I just asked Google how far I was from home and it said 28 and a half miles. And I've got 38 miles to go. So that's what I'll do. Periodically I'll ask Google how far I am. And I don't use the GPS on this car anymore because my 30 day trial period is up. It doesn't really have GPS, but it has something called the Bringo app. And that costs money and it's very expensive. It's like 50 bucks. No way am I paying $50 for GPS and just a few other kind of things it'll do, not much. There goes another one passing me. <laughs> of course, because I'm going the speed limit. I want to give more information about the Bringo app. It's not just an app. It's an app where it will project onto the screen that's in this car. And I can't wait till all cars will mirror Google Maps or some other GPS system. I said a couple years ago, two or three years ago, that cars in the very near future will not have built-in GPS. They'll simply mirror something from your phone. Well, Chevy and Bringo got together and decided to do that for the Spark and for one more small Chevy. But like I said, it's so freaking expensive. And if I knew every car going forward would use it, then I'd do it in a heartbeat. Because one good thing about the Bringo GPS, it'll uh, tell me how many miles you got left on your uh, battery, how many miles you can go. But I can look here on my guessometer and see that. But it also has nearby charging stations, which are zero around me. But uh, for most people, that'd be a really cool thing. Anyway, let's see how much further we've got to go. This is what Google has to say. Google, how many miles to my house? The drive from your location to your home is 20.9 miles. Okay, 20.9, we'll say 21. And now it says 35 miles left on the guessometer. So now we've got 14 miles. It will show 14 miles when we get home. Wasn't it 10 a few minutes ago? Hmm. Okay, I just slowed down to 45 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour in this little town called Light, where nobody ever slows down, but I did. Let's see what we got. How many miles is it to my house? The drive from your location to your home is 16.0 miles. It says we've got 16 miles to go, and the guessometer says 31. So that should be 15 miles left. We'll see. We're almost to Miss Addie's, and right around Miss Addie's is where the speed limit jumps from 55 to 60. So let's see how far we are from home. I want to see how far we are from the 60 mile zone. Right up here. How many miles is it to the house? Whoops. How many miles is it? to home. The drive from your location to your home is 11.7 miles. Okay, 11.7 miles. We'll call it 12 miles. Whoops, I need to speed up. Okay, 12 miles from home. Let me get up to 60. There we go. miles to home the guessometer says 26 so there should be 14 miles left when we get back you would think I feel a lot better about this trip than last trip I'm thinking around this time there was probably about 16 or 17 on the guessometer but I'm not sure I'm beginning to think last time it wasn't so much the incline 30 feet and 30 miles 
or 28 miles. I'm thinking it was the air conditioner, because like I said, if you didn't see my last video, the last time I came to Water Ridge, I went to my aunt's house, and she's she's an elderly lady, and she stays cold all the time, so her house is really warm. By the time I left, I was pretty darn hot, and I could not get cooled off, and I had the thermostat on either 72 or 74 the whole way home. I think 72, then I moved it to 74. Right now, the thermostat's on 76, which is where I leave it most times. I'll sometimes turn out to 74, then back to 76. Well, I think it must have been that air conditioner just blowing almost as hard as it could most of the way home or all the way home. How many miles is it to home? The drive from your location to your home is 9.0 miles. Exactly 9 miles with 21 left on the guessometer. That's 12. 12 miles left. According to this uh, computer, I've used 63-71% of the battery. 71% of the battery. I'm going to easily make it home. Unlike last time when I barely made it. As a matter of fact, it's getting a little warm, so I think I'll turn the thermostat down to 74. That'll probably get me a little chilly here in a few minutes, and I can turn it back up. Right here, they're adding a bypass around Paragold. You get right here and it goes to the other edge. Maybe that'll take care of some of our traffic. Right there and it takes you, loops around the town, loops around the city, town. We're not a city. You know, loop you around, you can go up there and go to Jonesboro or you can get on another highway that loops around the other side and go to the Boot Hill of Missouri. Hey, I must have missed a slow down sign. Somebody back, somewhere back there is supposed to slow to 45. Here I am driving around like an idiot, 15 miles over the speed limit. How many miles am I from home? The drive from your home to your location is 3.2 miles. Three miles from home with 20 miles left on the guessometer. That's 17 miles should be left when I get home. I think when I got to this spot last week, I think I had about five or six miles left. I normally go straight there unless I'm the first in line and it's a red light, then I turn. But, man, this is so different. <laughs> That's funny. Well, it's a completely different story getting home with three miles left and getting home with about, uh, and heck, since I'm in town now, I may get home with 18 or 19 miles left because I'm trending upwards. You know, the Chevy Spark EV, for those that don't know it, I wish I could show you the dash right now. But I want to stay hands-free. There's these little dots. You know, you got how far you can go, which mine says 20 miles. Maximum 24, minimum 18. From where you can go 20 miles to the maximum of 24, there's these little dots. And the uh, more those dots are lit up, the more you're trending toward the maximum mileage. If the dots are lit up trending toward the bottom, which is 18, then you're trending that direction. So and anytime you get in town, usually you're trending upwards. I just got this GoPro camera the other day. As a matter of fact, there's a first impressions video on YouTube about it. And I feel like I was kind of unfair because I barely knew what I was doing. And the camera I'm thinking is going to be a lot better than what I thought it was going to be on the first day. But I'm just glad I made sure that everybody knew watching the video that I was a complete novice and it was my very first impressions on the first day. So it's okay. But I've been saying that when I do these videos, every time I tell this machine to turn off, you can say go, P-R-O, and tell it to stop, R-E-C-O-R-D-I-N-G, -N, and it'll stop, R-E-C-O-R-D-I-N-G. -N. I can't say it now or it'll shut off. But anyway, I've been saying that I would cut those out whenever I upload my videos. But I've said stop r-e-c-o-r-d-i-n-g and -E so many times a day i'm thinking about how much work that's going to be to cut all those parts of the videos out so I may just leave it in i mean after all this isn't supposed to be a professional video anyway you know i've always said i'm just one guy with a camera who wants to document and share information about living with a uh, electric vehicle 
So I don't really think it's necessary for me to go through all that work, just so you don't have to hear me say, go P-R-O, stop R-E-C-O-R-D-I-N-G, and just so you don't have to hear that eight or 10 times every time I upload a video. So I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided if I'm gonna cut that out or not. Probably not, because I'm kind of ornery and lazy. But anyway, all right, almost home. I'm thinking about a mile, let's see. How many miles to home? The drive from your location to your home is 1.4 miles. 1.4 miles. 19 miles left on the guessometer. GoPro, stop recording. Yay! Made it home with 19 miles left. Here's what I was talking about earlier, these indicator lights. The further, the more lights are lit up to there, so I just lost one because I'm sitting still. That means you're trending to 21. This means you're trending to 17. So, but we made it with 19 miles left rather than three. Um, right here, it shows we used 76% of the battery, 10.6 kilowatts, kilowatt hours. Now, the electrical rates where I live are 6.9 cents a piece. Let's call them seven cents. That's 70 and half, uh, 70 cents and half a seven is three and a half, 73 and a half, then 0 0.7, 74.2 cents to go to one at Ridge and back. So let's just call it 7 to 75 cents. Six bits. It cost me six bits to go 56.3 miles. And with that, on the way back, we got 5.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Yeah, for six bits. Another word nobody uses anymore. For you young whippersnappers, that's 75 cents. Anyway, very happy. Very happy indeed. Okay. What I've been doing when I took my charger is I've been getting out of the car and hopping around on one leg to plug it back up because I have to park so close to the carport. Then I thought, why do that? Look at this, I parked so close, I can do it from my passenger side window. Look at that. Plug it in here. Because I'm telling you, hopping on one leg is not easy, especially when you're 52 years old. It wasn't that hard when I was 37. When I first lost my leg, I'd hop all over the house like a bunny rabbit, which probably wasn't good for me. Ah! Now look what I've done. I should have unwrapped it first. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks a lot. And uh, remember, chicks dick scars and eat an electric... Oh, excuse me. Chicks dig scars and electric cars. There. Good God. Y'all have a great day. And thanks for watching.